Hi everyone, today I will show you how to change and customise Ubuntu's look with the new icons and Windows themes. First, get over to gnomelook.org and have a look at the selection of amazing things you can do to your Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. Uh, some great Windows icons, um, desktop backgrounds, etc. etc. Have a look and check it out. It's uh, The address is gnome-look.org. Go over there, you can see there's great categories down here, loads of stuff. I'm not going to go into it, but you can have a good look around. You can see uh, yeah, the most, most downloaded, uh, uh, most popular stuff and downloads and things. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to the Ubuntu Software Center or through a terminal, um, but go to the Software Center and do a search for Advanced and install Advanced Settings. Um, I've already got it installed right now. Um, I will so get that installed, you can do it from, from a terminal by doing um, sudo apt get install gnome-tweak-tool and then install it that way. Um, so I'll exit that. And I'll just show you for fire up advanced settings, it's one of my recent apps I've used, um, but you just type in the dash advanced and it'll come up. See here you've got theme selection uh, on that GTK theme, you can see I've only got the default installed themes at the moment. Um, same for the Windows themes. There's uh, there's a few others because I've got Gnome Shell installed as well. But um, you can see it's just the basic stuff there. So we'll just exit this again. Go to your home folder. Um, if you can press, let's go to the home folder. If you press Control H, uh, that shows you all your hidden files and folders in your home folder. Don't delete anything in here because it contains program data and stuff. Uh, or settings related to certain programs that you use. Um, all we need to do is create two folders in here. One called dot icons. The dot indicates, or the full stop indicates, it's here in the folder. We've got dot icons, and then create dot themes. If you press uh, F3 in Nautilus, you get uh, a dual pane window, which is really handy for copying and moving stuff around. So I'm going to click on one of the panes here. Go back to my downloads those folder. I've created a Tron style theme. Um, and what I've done is I'm using a couple of uh, themes here, but one called Ambience DS Blue. Uh, and, and, and the last amazing grays is the icon theme. And I've got some desktop backgrounds here. Now, Ambience DS Blue is the Windows theme, so all I've done is uh, extracted the tar. So I'm going to grab that, copy that, and paste it into the newly created themes folder. Let's get that done, go back to my home, uh, find the icons folder, which is there, and chuck over the last amazing grades, which is a great icon theme, that's it. Quite big, it'll take a while, but I'll just let that copy. One of the things I like most about Ubuntu and, and Linux is you can just make it look however you want and uh, let it suit your work style. Okay, that's that copied. I'm going to use this is my desktop background. <coughs> right click, set desktop background, just done. Done. And okay, now far up advanced settings. The theme, Windows theme. If you now you'll now see we've got the Ambience DS Blue theme. Uh, click on that. Apply. Then go to your GTK Plus theme, and again you can see it's in there now. It's referencing what's in that folder in your home drive. Okay, and then icon theme. Let's 
put the last remaining greys, so select that. Okay, now sometimes when you first apply these, uh, it doesn't look quite how you intended it to look. Um, and what you need to do is give it a, a re log out and log back in again um, for the themes to apply. There should be a dark background up here. Um, and it, currently it's not. So I will, what I'll do is I'll pause the video, log out and log back in again and I'll show you what it looks like. Just Okay, so I'm back again, I've logged out and logged back in. You can see the desktop's uh, little window theme has changed. Go to some of the programs. Icons have changed, like system monitor, see up here, Wi-Fi icons have changed. Go to the home folder. You can see it's made it all dark, which is nice. I quite like working off this. this contrasting look, nice silver icons. Um, Basically changed all the icons to, to that other theme, um, which I like. I think it looks good. There you go. That's just about as easy as it is. Thanks for watching.